All right, everyone, it is here, the Ataraxian updates. Now, with the Ataraxian update, it's obvious that we're getting the new dungeon, but also, I went through these notes here, and a couple of things really caught my attention, apart from the Ataraxian dungeon, that I really wanted to draw some attention to, including some major buffs to Dragon Scale Fossils. I know I went over this a bit a week or so ago, but they are coming in this update right here. I didn't think that those would be coming for a while, but they are coming right now. So they are going to be significantly increasing the drop rates of Dragon Scale Fossils, as well as making the Garmoth events that happens in like the Blood Wolf settlements um, and a couple of the other dragon areas is now going to give you five to ten fossils instead of just a chance at giving you one so this could potentially have a really big impact on fossils which are obviously um, potentially useful for getting those fail stacks now obviously who knows if this will have a big impact on prices but uh you know if you guys watch the twitch live stream twitch.tv slash salt you guys know my opinions about fossils it's okay as long as you know that it's a convenience item and you're paying for that convenience it's like going to a gas station to buy something instead of going to a grocery store the grocery store is going to be further away it's going to be cheaper the gas station is the, like convenience option right you're paying more for that convenience just like for dragon scale fossils you're paying more for those fail stacks for the convenience of not having to go through the really annoying process of reblathing and all that sort of stuff that a lot of people just don't really want to do this might make that even better i also noticed some other changes as well some more quality of life stuff um the potential to get a 130 fail stack not 100 a 130 fail stack from the Ataraxian dungeon it might be a bit of a pain to do um i looked at the requirements and uh you know it might take some time but 130 stacks very valuable it's worth multiple times what a 100 fail stack is worth even though it's only 30 levels higher that makes a very very big difference so even if it is a little bit of a pain it might be worth going through the effort in order to actually um get it now, I also watched the Twitch live stream earlier today where the developers, community managers, GM, CMs, etc., they actually went through the Ataraxian dungeon and uh, showed some footage of it. And I will tell you guys uh, a couple of little things about it that I kind of noticed while watching it for about half an hour or so. It is a bit of a slower dungeon. Like, this is not something that you're going to be able to blast through. Maybe eventually, maybe people will figure out a way to blast through it, but it is a, you know, a longer thing. It's a time commitment. So, you know, if you guys dive into the Ataraxian content with this update, be prepared to sink in some time. So a lot of these rewards, they're going to look really, really juicy, but they are going to be a bit of a time investment in order to actually get all that really, really juicy stuff. So let's kind of dive into it because I know that there's some other stuff here as well, including a new event. I want to be a little careful because sometimes there are some changes with events from like, you know, SEA to NA, but I noticed the Taiwan notes were some uh, exactly the same as the SEA notes. So I'm almost sure that NA is getting this event as well. And uh, that could have some very major impacts like on the economy. Uh, will it be the event that actually brings down Blackstone prices for the first time in a while? We'll see. We'll get into that in a second here as well. So speaking of the events, here they are right there. We'll get back to that after we go over some of the other stuff here. Now, the Ataraxian notes here, um, it's literally pages and pages. And I know that I actually talked about this uh, a little bit more in a Global Labs video a week or so ago. Um, so I'll mention the important stuff, of course, including all that stuff about the 130 fail stack. Um, the three different difficulties. There's a normal difficulty. There is the Elvia Hadoom difficulty, which is going to be uh, obviously for the more geared players. There's also a seasonal difficulty as well for seasonal characters that gives you specific seasonal items in addition to regular items. Um, so keep that in mind if you are playing a seasonal character. There is a special, even easier difficulty uh, for seasonal characters. Um, and we'll get into the rewards and all that sort of stuff. I don't think I actually took a look at that in much detail, uh, if at all. But uh, a lot of this sort of stuff, um, you know, if I read this, go over this in too much detail, this will end up being an hour-long video. So um, we'll go ahead and bypass that. Obviously, I'll link this in the description if you guys do want to end up taking a look at it on your own in more detail. You are obviously welcome to do so. Uh, here's uh, some interesting stuff for rewards, though. When you end up actually going through Ataraxing, you're going to be getting these tokens uh, from the uh, quests. There's weekly quests that actually you you can't keep running this infinitely. It looks like there's a um, weekly quest that you can get a couple times. You can get one for the normal version. You can get one for the hard version. You can get one for the seasonal version. And it gives you these loot boxes, basically, that have various items in them, um, including the new accessory, which is actually a mimic of a black distortion earring. It's got a different name, but it's basically a black distortion earring that um, you, know, you can get from Ataraxian. Maybe it'll have an impact on the price of distortions, maybe not. But you also get these like certain tokens here that you can end up trading in for all of these items right here. You can see that there's some pretty interesting uh, stuff. Um, or, or no, this is the actual stuff that you get from the boxes, it looks like. And then 
as we go down, I think it might be down here, you'll see the uh, list of stuff you can exchange the tokens for. Um, I think, yep, here it is. So this is the stuff that you could end up exchanging the tokens for. And you can see you can actually exchange a thousand of them for those weapon exchange coupons. That's a very, very steep price and you can only do it once, but it looks like there's an opportunity to get those there. Fail stacks, some crystals, crystal boxes, a couple of low, uh, lower fail stacks here, massive pure magic, Kafra's memory fragments, all that sort of stuff there. So every run through of the Outer Axion dungeon is gonna give you all that stuff that you guys saw up here. Um, which you end up getting, uh, you could see definitely obtained, which means you always get one of these and then obtained at a set chance, which means random, not guaranteed to get this. And then, you know, each of these different categories is from, like one of these is from the uh, uh, normal version. One of them is from the Elvia Hadoom, which is the harder version. And then one of them is from the seasonal version, I believe. Um, and I think the seasonal one here, Maybe we haven't gotten to it yet. Obviously, it's going to have like seasonal rewards in it, right? Like time-filled blackstones and stuff like that. So um, this is important though. Here we go. The 130 fail stack. There it is. Now, in order to get this, there is a quest that is going to have you recover the knowledge of Val Um, This might be a bit of a commitment. It might be a bit of a uh, time investment in order to go for but uh, depending on, you know, your friends, people you group with, people you know, maybe your guilds, it might be worth going for because 130 stack is pretty darn valuable. You know, it's probably close to twice the value of like 100 stack and 100 stack is already probably worth like around a billion or so silver. So um, if you're going to be running out of Rexian anyway, if you can, you know, try to end up going for this along the way. Um, I think it's definitely a consideration to make. Now, I don't know exactly how much of a time investment this is going to be, but it's something to be mindful of because that's a very, very big potential reward right there. There's also going to be a 70 fail stack that you can end up getting um, along the way as well. That one's for recover the knowledge of Val Makea 1. Um, and then here's a little bit more information about that right there for the knowledge categories, titles, that sort of stuff. I'm not going to get too much into detail with this. This is one of those things where um, if you guys want to look at it in more detail, I'll, I'll go ahead and leave the link to this in the description. If I go into that, read it word for word, etc. It's going to take way too long. So, oh, here's the uh, seasonal rewards. So this one right here is the uh, Valamakea Rift Chest. So you get these loot boxes again from Ataraxian that um, each of these difficulties gives you. You can only do, I think, each difficulty once per week or so. Uh, I'm not 100% on that, but... Um, uh, you can't you can't just run through it infinitely and keep farming these boxes to my knowledge um, at least from the notes that I saw uh, But this is what you can end up getting from the seasonal box You can see there 200 time filled black stones to Vala or regular seasonal materials uh, Definitely obtained you always get those and then there is a chance to get pry through try to Vala accessories as well as a frozen tides black stone and the frozen tides black stone is the one that guarantees a Tuvala from Tet to Pen so that's what that does. You can also get those from your season pass, and you can also get them from a drop from Afuaros as well. I actually got one from an Afuaro uh, on the live stream earlier, so I don't know how rare they are, but I did get one from that. Uh, these do take Agris points, apparently, so keep that in mind. You want to keep at least a little bit of Agris um, saved for these uh, weekly quests in order to be able to get this loot from Ataraxian. So a um, little bit more detail about that right there. And uh, now we move on to some of the other stuff uh, apart from Ataraxian. Obviously, as the update comes out, I'll get into a little bit more detail as I'm able to actually kind of go through and take a look at things myself. So far, all the information is coming from patch notes as well as that developer community manager GMCM live stream, which, you know, I can't really get into the, you know, super details, but... Um, you know, let's move on to some of the other stuff in this update here that um, is very important besides just the Ataraxian dungeon. I already mentioned dragon scale fossils. We'll get into a little bit more of that here in a second, but they are now moving. Some of those enhancing changes that we went over from probably two weeks ago now, some of them are actually coming with this update. And that includes the move of the um, church NPC over to the blacksmith. And it looks like that what they actually did is uh, they went with the easy suggestion here. Um, a lot of people are saying they weren't going to do this for lore reasons. It looks like they're, they actually just decided to do it this way, which makes sense. Is It looks like that the uh, blacksmith will just have the ability to cleanse now instead of moving the actual church NPC. So, you know, in Velia, Tran, and Underfoe, the blacksmith right over by the storage on my live stream. I spend quite a bit of time over there. You guys are probably pretty familiar with him if you uh, watch my live stream. He will have the ability to cleanse your gear. You will not have to run to the church to uh, de-level your plus 15 to plus 14 reblats. 
all the other cities as well. The respective blacksmiths will be able to do that same thing for you. And uh, yeah, so a little quality of life thing. It's nothing crazy, but hey, for me, I do a lot of enhancing. Nice to save a bit of time running all the way back uh, from the church over and over. So that's pretty cool. Dragon at scale fossils. Here we go. So change the exchange of dragon scale fossils for advice of us to be available outside of Calfionda. The item dragon scale fossil can be exchanged for those 20 stacks, 30 of them for a 20 stack, 350 for a 40 stack. Added this exchange to the following NPCs. You can see there that uh, there's a lot of places that you can turn these in, basically all the major cities now. Um, but also, I think I actually went past the... Did I go past the part where it's uh, all the stuff about the increased drop rates? Maybe we haven't actually gotten to it, but um, you're going to be able to uh, get more of these from the different zones in Dragon. And the special events, the Garmoth event, where Garmoth actually attacks you from the sky, uh, the chest for that is actually going to end up giving you 5 to 10 Dragon Scale Fossils instead of just one. So let me actually do this here uh, so we can possibly find that there it is right here increase the drop rate of the dragon scale fossil in the following three monster zones shira ruins blood wolf settlement and the shurikron necropolis day and night change the appearance rate of the old dragonese crate in the dragon region monster zones uh, necropolis blood wolves and shira ruins to always appear when garmuth does her fire attack so the chest will always appear now instead of a chance to appear it increased the amount of fossils from the chest from only one to five to ten so that, in addition to more fossils dropping overall, we have adjusted the amount of dragon scale fossils dropped in dragon. Not only can you get more scales from each of the monster zones, but also from the random event where Garmoth attacks. We have been keeping a close eye on each of the servers after the increase of Kafra stones of each of the monster zones. We'll continue to keep watching, uh, continue to keep close watch moving forward. So there could be changes. There could be changes to how Kafra stones are obtained, gathering Black Star defense gear and the various rewards. So. All right, guys, we'll have to see. But, uh, you know, these changes to fossils, I'm very interested to see how big of an impact they might actually potentially have on the economy. And speaking of economy, this is actually a great time to uh, transition a little bit into that event that I mentioned earlier that potentially here could actually have an impact on the uh, economy because it looks like that killing monsters, gathering, fishing, that sort of stuff is actually going to have a chance to drop these special boxes that will have all sorts of resources. And it's the Fortune and Rarity Pouches event. So here it is. Now, um, events, there's a possibility that sometimes these are a little different on like NA, SEA. But I noticed that when I looked at the Taiwan notes earlier, they had this exact same event. Here we are for the SEA notes, which were just released. They have this event. So I would imagine this is going to come out for NA as well. There's a chance it doesn't, but I'm, I mean, if we're following the trend here, we've seen this a lot lately, is it should be coming out for NA as well. And you can see here that uh, defeat monsters, gather, or fish during the event for a chance to obtain the following items, rarity pouches, and then fortunate pouches, which are the beefier version there, which give you black stones, both armor, weapon, hards, sharps, crons, memory fragments, valk's cry, uh, 10 spirit dust and golden coloconists, which are the golden fishes that you can sell for 5 million silver. And then the beefy one, the fortune pouches, are basically the same thing, except instead of giving you one, they give you multiple. And instead of 10 dust, they give you 10 through 20. So still just one fish, though, it looks like. Oh, uh, yeah, still just golden col coloconith, golden coloconith. It looks like the fish is still the same for the rarity in the fortune pouch. But um, very interesting to see if this will have a big impact or if it's going to be pretty negligible. Um, I know Blackstone prices have still been pretty high, close to 200000 on the, uh, you know, NA EU. So I don't know about EU, actually, but I could definitely say for the NA server, like, armor stones are still at almost 200000 Weapon stones also still at almost 200000 And it has been like this for quite a while. You can see the chart there. You know, I thought they would have gone down a long time ago, but I was very, very wrong about that. So... We'll see. We'll keep an eye out. And uh, if they go down, that's usually uh, good news for me, especially with all the enhancing I do. But it's generally pretty good news for most people, especially those of you guys who are working on the pen accessory stuff that you got to buy a lot of those for. You know, don't panic. You still got plenty of time before you're going to be able to complete that pen accessory. I don't know how close. Uh, I haven't been doing a great job of keeping up with it myself, but I'd imagine there's still a bit of time there to complete that. So you don't need to buy all the black stones at once here. You still got plenty of time to end up getting them. So that event is going to be coming. Um, besides that, I, I think there was like one other event here, but it's the Adaraxian Awards. This is one of the ones where you got to like take screenshots and share stuff. So, you know, if you're interested in that, here's some of the rewards there for that. 
Uh, the daily attendance rewards, I noticed, I think the NAEU version actually already has these rewards. Uh, so this is already, I believe, in effect for NAEU, but it looks like Southeast Asia just got this right there. Um, I saw this upcoming new pearl item feature, and I was uh, wondering if this was the costume change, but it doesn't look like it. Now, speaking of the um, this this note here, though, is uh, the quality of life change that is going to allow us to move items in our storage and warehouse 20 at a time, you'll be able to also do with the head butler. So that's kind of what this pearl item notice is about, is the head butler is going to get another function, but you'll still be able to do this through your regular um, warehouse as well. You don't need to have the butler in order to be able to move multiple items um, in your warehouse. So I know I talked about that in a video um, a, a couple of days ago or so. Besides that, um, you know, a lot of this other stuff here I already talked a bit about, um, and it's stuff that if I were to get really in, too much into detail, uh, it would make the video way too long, and we're already getting long already. So um, I think I went over the important stuff. I went over the important stuff about the uh, Ataraxian, the fail stack, the dragon scale fossils, um, the events uh, with the, the potentially the uh, drop in armor stones and weapon stones, please. All right, I'm asking for that one a little too much, but it's kind of important for me. So um, I think that's all the important stuff to really go over here. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about the... If you watched the live stream earlier, if you guys have seen any footage of the Ataraxian update, what do you guys think about it? How, what are your thoughts and impressions about, uh, you know, this update and everything going on? Are you still playing your seasonal character? Feel free to let me know any of that sort of stuff. But with that being said, that is going to be about it for the video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did and you want more videos like this in the future, consider leaving a like. It really does help out more than you can imagine. And of course, to get notifications of future videos, consider subscribing to the channel, turning those notifications, hitting the bell, doing all that typical YouTube stuff. I really do appreciate it, everyone, and you can always catch me on the Twitch live stream, twitch.tv salt. But until next time, take care, everyone. I'll see you all later.